welcome back to Oracle Mystica. Um, this is going to be a year ahead 2022 specific reading. So we're going to look at um, four main categories that kind of relate them to the cardinal directions in life. So we're going to look at um, our sense of self, how we're developing just personally, personal growth, um, kind of what our direction is, uh, general main theme that sort of orders the rest of everything. So I'll keep those cards out the whole time because everything sort of relates to that direction. Um, and then we're gonna look at how uh, you need to work on grounding and nourishing yourself and self-care and like things like home and family. Um, and then we're gonna look at relationships and uh, these don't have to be romantic. It can be romantic. It can be business. It can be um, just really strong personal friendships. Um, but in general, sort of like what's your attractor nature? What are you attracting? What are you repelling? Um, that kind of thing. And then we're going to look at career and finances as well. And then an overall kind of... Um, directional card to at the end. So I have um, these fun little pins. I wanted to be a little whimsical with this. And I was just in Joshua Tree a little bit before Christmas and um, found these really fun sort of <laughs> whimsical pins um, for the themes of the piles. So pile one is this fun sort of mushroom. Um, and then we've got pile two, which is Prince with his doves. <laughs> see if you can see it. There's sort of a glare on these that I wish wasn't there. Um, pile three, we've got a woman with this sort of like, I feel like it's sort of, um, they don't, they're not total moon cycles, but it feels sort of like a ring of moons around her or something. Um, and then pile four is sort of this reflective um, reflection, but also flipped upside down kind of reflection going on here. So take a minute and feel into each of these pins. Um, decide which pile is drawing you in, and we will take a look at um, year 2022. Okay, I'll give you just a couple minutes, but also after that, if you need more time, just pause here and figure out your pile. Hello, pile one. If this is you guys, you picked the cute little mushroom here. Um, and just sort of like an overall cue from this uh, little image is I feel like this is going to be a year of experimenting for you. And I'm definitely not promoting like psychedelics. It's just symbolic. Like you're really kind of... Um, pushing the boundaries of your mind, trying new things, um, shaking things up a little bit. It's possible that um, life has maybe felt a little stagnant in certain ways and you're just looking to, you don't really know what to do about that, but it's time to just like try things and move things and really be open-minded and um, just seeing the potentials and possibilities and getting playful with that. I love there's like these little butterflies on here too. So you can see just like um, kind of a light, trying to lighten something up and um, really getting in touch with something more playful to help move things in your life. Okay, we are going to put this over by our stones. <laughs> Um, okay, so I've got four main piles, and we're going to start with 
um, the direction. We're going to look at the, the four cardinal directions and we're starting with the direction of self. Um, and I have pre-picked cards for all four directions, but I'm also going to, as just organically, no set formula with it, as certain questions come up or if I need a little bit more clarification on things, I have some a tarot deck that we're going to use to just um, kind of help tease out more information if, um, if there are things that aren't totally... Uh, coming through clearly with what's already picked. Sometimes things may just come through very clearly and we don't need it, but we'll see what happens. Um, and we'll put the other piles to the side. Okay, so looking at your sense of self, so like what you're working on around personal growth, your sense of who you are, what's giving you um, passion and direction and order in life this year. You have this beautiful card called um, Building Blocks. And so this is indicating that you do have like a really beautiful, solid design around your life and you're maybe someone who does like to do things sort of step by step and build with real integrity with plans um, but you can see here um, there's not too much of a glare these blocks kind of also it's hard to say if they're coming or going but I feel like there's some reordering going on so this is a year to kind of step back from your plan and notice what kind of building blocks you have put in around the sense of who you are that um, aren't fitting correctly and kind of playing almost like Rubik's Cube, you know how, um, or not Rubik's Cube, what's that game? I don't know the name of the game, I've forgotten, but there's like an old school video game where you kind of have to like fit these different um, shapes built out of blocks to kind of create like a really solid um, structure. <laughs> and so um, you're having to kind of like twist little pieces about yourself and like, you know, take some things out. It's sort of like a little bit of a puzzle this year. There's certain things that currently aren't fitting right. And so you're just playing with like taking, you know, changing up certain things around who you feel feel like you are and what your direction is and what gives you passion and lights you up from the inside. Um, and it's okay to be a little bit messy in this. I just want to say that because I feel like there's something like very structured and um, I don't know. Um, I don't want to say a type personality, but it's almost like you really like things and in a particular way. Um, but you might need to get messy this year to really kind of um, feel connected with your direction and personal growth this year. So, um, you know, let that be okay with a little bit of messiness and a little bit of tweaking and try to be a little bit more open-minded than you typically are. And I feel like what you are looking for is sort of like a very, a more peaceful and deep connection to life. You're looking for some depth, some soulfulness, some deep wisdom, and a sense of like calm. Um, and sometimes to find that, we do have to get a little bit messy to uproot um, update, you know, certain things about who we think we are. Um, so I feel like in order to get this place to this place of depth and wisdom and calm that you're craving, you do need to kind of go through a bit of a, of a, um, whirlwind phase and just kind of, yeah, get playful with what's, um, what's shifting, what's changing about who you are. Um, 
try, you know, like take some classes, take, you know, what, what have you been interested in? Not necessarily that's like going to change your career or some major trajectory in your life, but like what hobbies or what like little things have you always craved to just do for yourself? Like something for yourself, for your own kind of personal happiness and interests and curiosity. Like you want to, um, work on learning a new language or an instrument or take a class, a cooking class, you know, just try like, have fun with it. Don't even take a series, you know, like go into any classes that you take. And there's so many online options these days. Like just go into them very lighthearted without being like, okay, I'm definitely going to learn um, Spanish this year and I'm going to stick to it and take this serious like go in with a light heart and be like yeah I, I'm kind of I've been curious about learning this language or this thing or um, taking a writing class whatever and just just be like don't put pressure on it you know just be playful and light and be like yeah I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes and then I'll decide what what kind of commitment or how it fits in my life um and I feel like by the end of the year, you're going to find those right things that give you a certain depth that you've been craving. Um, and it's going to come through like, yeah, just playing with new kinds of information, new kinds of passions, new hobbies. Um, but you're going to, by doing that, you're going to find that direction that's going to kind of like really ground your sense of self and passions in like a whole new uh, way, I think, by the end of the year, if you kind of stick to that plan around just personal development. Um, and then we've got these cute little um, sort of flower and uh, nature essence cards. And um, it, there's it's these balance cards that show um, how things should be flowing if you're in balance and how they'll be going if you're out of balance. So for this year, that balance point around personal development is the oak. And it says when you're in balance, um, or patterns around balance show like a balanced strength, accepting limits, knowing when to surrender. And I like that knowing when to surrender, like knowing which pieces of your life you really need to kind of shed and get rid of and um, surrendering to new things niggling in you. So when you're sort of out of balance, the thing to look for when um, that will appear how you'll feel if you're kind of not sticking to this plan of lightness and experimenting and being a little messy, it says, um, iron willed, inflexible. Oh, this is totally, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I was getting. Like, I feel like you like things just so, and you need to be a little, you know, like be more flexible this year. Um, over striving beyond one's limits, go into things with a light heart. Don't, you know, over plan and overthink how some new thing in your life is going to be. Just be playful with it and test things out taking on more than one can inwardly sustain. So that's a good new message coming through of like really check with yourself like what you can take on. Like it, maybe you wanna, you've been interested in, in taking piano lessons and a language lesson and you wanna learn to cook and this, you know, but it's like choose one, you know, like what does your life allow and allow, you know, with this whale here, this really calm, peaceful energy. Um, pack in some some cushioning in your schedule for relaxation. That's what I want to say. Don't over schedule yourself. Allow yourself a little bit of space and calmness so you can kind of see what you need to mess up and you can kind of decide what to prioritize and what to try and experiment with this year. Um, but but when you're thinking of new things to play with and what you're taking out of your life, like schedule in you time where you have a buffer of downtime every week within your rhythm so that you can kind of um, not overdo things and um, 
really get a sense of calm clarity about what's not working and what you want to try. Um, okay, let's pick just one or two. I feel like we have a pretty clear message around personal growth, direction, sense of self, how you're developing. Um, but let's just pull one or two cards. Let's see what falls out. Okay, three cards fell out. <laughs> okay, yes, I love this. Okay, so um, the hermit right away is what like caught my eye. And this is a card of like, like the well, going deep, deep down into yourself and creating sort of rhythms, trying things. Um, this may even be an indicator that like new things you wanna test, you may need to do them your way rather than like getting formal training. You may need to just like um, figure out, you know, buy some books, watch some little online videos or something in, in that, that might be a strategy where you are able to be lighthearted about the new things you're trying is like not necessarily going at it with this formal commitment to some course or something and just kind of like playing with it on your by yourself and creating little rhythms around it that are very personal and finding your own personal connection with it this year with new things and um, really going inward to um, find your own distinct personal connection to what is no longer working for you and what you are wanting to kind of newly integrate within yourself. Um, but it's a very personal, personal thing. So be okay with just kind of um, playing with things based on your own instincts rather than getting like outside advice. It's, you're gonna go through a very personal process with that this year. Um, and this has a very similar message to me. It's like trust your own intuition here with the high priestess. Um, you kind of know in your intuitive sense, and that's why I think you need to schedule with that well some downtime, some cushion for just you time is like, you're really needing to listen to that little inner voice that's your own voice that's telling you what is right and wrong for you. You're really needing to tune into your personal instincts and your personal intuition with like how you're kind of um, reordering certain things around what lights you up and your direction and um, who you feel you are in life. And um, this is a reminder to me, I feel like, to have fun with it, to go in this lighthearted. We have the sun here. Get playful, have fun. Don't take these things too seriously. Just treat it like that video game I was talking about. Like, I'm gonna take this part of me out for a minute and try this piece and no, that doesn't fit, so I'll put that back. Um, I'm gonna take this piece out, you know, just kind of get like, but not in like an overly um, critical or um, uh, rigid way, just kind of, I don't know, I mean, it's just like get messy, have fun and allow life to be just a little bit um, uh, playful this year. I just think you need to find some joy and that's, that's gonna help you um, bring some lightness and movement to your life is trying these new things or getting rid of new things just because you've been playful and you've seen a new side of yourself because of that. Um, and I do think that, you know, if you kind of stick to these strategies, like I said earlier with the well, by the end of the year, you're going to figure out what your deep alignment is that really lights you up and that brings you a certain depth you're really looking for. Um, okay, I want to roll... I don't want to roll all three astro dice. I kind of am feeling like I just want to roll a planet astro dice. Um, yep, Uranus 
we got that. It's, it's time to shake something up. Um, something's gotten still, some construct around who um, you've become as a person is feeling kind of um, stagnant to you. And it's just ready to challenge yourself to kind of rebel against, um, you know, I, I feel like maybe you've played into expectations of you and you've built certain things about yourself based off of what others have expected of you. And it's time to just say, you know what, I need to become myself based on what lights me up, up, not based on um, what I'm told to do or what society indicates um, that would be like a good path for me. Like you just need to kind of rebel, shake things up, be playful, be lighthearted, experiment a little with um, new things in your life and just, um, yeah, shake some things off. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, put these back. So we are going to look now at, and I'm going to keep these self cards out because I feel like all of the other directions kind of always need to reference this aspect of you um, because it is your how you create order and direction and motivation in life. Okay, so now we're going to look at what it is that you need to um, channel this year to feel grounded, to feel nurtured, to feel like your cup is um, replenished when it needs to be replenished, um, and that you're really growing and tending to both yourself and the people and things you really love in life. Um, and there is... Um, I kind of am feeling like this card needs to go first. Um, like I was talking about with your sense of self, there's something, um, actually this adds more information to me. There's something new in you that has been dormant, that's been incubating, and it's a sense of um, gentle strength. There's a new gentleness in you that is the key to you becoming a true manifester in life. And so you're really needing to, um, the self care, this may feel backwards. I'm gonna say instead of like um, sleeping more, taking baths, like I really think you need to wake yourself up and plug into life a little bit more. Not in a stressful and over scheduling yourself type of way where we got that you know, a little bit of a uh, warning there with the oak card. But in a way, like maybe you need to um, start jogging in the morning, something that kind of like builds your energy through the day. Um, so a little bit of like physical activity, um, staying connected, like building a support system, being connected to others a little bit more in a playful way, not in like, like you may be, because I feel like you are active in life, but maybe like you're plugged in in terms of like work and your duties and um, responsibilities. And this is like, I want to say here that like, there's something incubating that's like this really soulful, gentle strength in you. And it needs to wake up through building like a more fun sense of community. Um, going to movies with friends or family or a partner, um, going dancing, um, having people over for a glass of wine in the evening. It could be, you know, whatever you're up for, like going to parties or like inviting one or two people over to just, you know, shoot the shit at night or something. Um, but yeah, I feel like, um, building energy in the morning to kind of like put you in the day in an energetic way. So like whether that's um, jogging or eating a really healthy breakfast or like something that is 
healthy for you and your body in the morning. Um, and then like plugging into a sense of community, um, either in the afternoon or the evening and really checking in with your energy, being gentle with yourself about it and really, um, doing it based on what you want, not what others are demanding. Um, like really check in with your energy and just be like, yeah, there's this party going on tonight that um, I feel like might be rude if I don't go, but I'm not up for it, so don't go to it. Or if one evening you're like, I just feel lonely, I have some energy, like take the, you know, find your strength to, you know, um, really be true to what's inside of you. Um, I'm not going to go to this party, even though it might disappoint some people, or I'm going to take initiative and get a few friends together to go out for dinner tonight. Um, but like, you really need to connect to your strength in terms of nurturing, um, something that's coming out in you. And it's about, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the sun that I feel like, um, She's like, I feel like this is a sun right here and she's like trying to plug into that energy and, you know, the lion is a solar, solar, uh, animal. And so something's trying to wake up in you, some brightness and it's about plugging in, being more connected, um, both to your energy and what you need but also just in general, like really feeling plugged into life. So you need to nurture yourself in terms of really listening to yourself in terms of what you need around being plugged in or not every day. And by doing this, you're really going to find some, some little key that's been missing, like the self care, the way you've been doing self care has maybe been like a little bit too, hermity or something <laughs> and so there's this element that's been missing to really manifest in your life and by kind of plugging back into things um and channeling your strength and building energy this new quality comes in that's being like newly nourished and um, that's been incubating that's kind of make you this this magician this manifester and you're really going to find a new sense of energy to create really beautiful manifestations in life um okay let's pull maybe a card or two I'll take this top one two of wands and <laughs> strength again is the double strength um, yeah, just reinforcing that, like, you really just need to be, um, channeling your own strength in terms of how you care for yourself in order to, strength in terms of, um, really listening and being gentle with yourself about what is making you happy and what isn't in terms of how you're plugged in in life. And I feel like this two of wands, it's saying planning down here. And I know I said around your personal development, like be a little more relaxed about that. But in terms of like that nurturing quality we're looking for here in terms of being plugged back in socially in life. Um, I think it is saying like some of that strength needs to be channeled to take the initiative to plan things to um step up and be the one to call friends and be like let's go to dinner or can you come over for some wine tonight or do you want to go to a movie and just sort of taking the initiative um like maybe you kind of maybe that's one reason why the way you're more plugged in in life is sort of um duty um is you haven't really put the effort in in terms of plugging into fun with others and taking the initiative to be the one that plans fun things 
Um, so I feel like that's what's coming through here. Okay. Let's look at relationships now. got ooh okay um there is definitely change coming in the relationship sector for you absolutely and i feel like all of these cardinal directions they sort of feed each other it's sort of like i feel like that nurturing we just talked about that self care where it's sort of like about plugging back in I feel like that's going to bring up new kinds of energy or opportunity in terms of how you're relating to others in your life, whether that's um, romantically, friendship wise, um, business wise, whatever it is, but some formal things are coming through. So if this is like about a romantic relationship, um, the Hierophant really likes tradition and there's ceremony and something formal happening. So this could be formally entering a romantic relationship or if you've been with someone for a while, it could be that you get married this year. Or if you are married, it could be something, a new big step you take together as a couple, um, moving homes like updating your house or um having a child something that kind of like builds on the foundations that are already there that's sort of like um tip you know traditional and typical in terms of what we think of of like progressing um a relationship um, if this is about business, it's finding, you know, like um, if you're needing a manager or an agent in anything, it could be in business, it could be a real estate agent, the right like partner, you're going to like, uh, this could be signing legal documents of some sort of formal partnership um, in terms of like close friendship or a relationship with someone in the family, um, just finding a deep um Kind of a deep spiritual connection with close relationships too um really building some depth with people and i feel like that's kind of really yeah when you're plugging back in in terms of how you're caring about yourself it's it's really going to open the door to some more like deep um spiritual type commitments that are coming through and this is really whatever it is and it could be multiple of what we just talked about but this wheel of fortune is coming up right after that and it's like some whatever formal thing kind of deepens in your life with relationships it's really going to alter some things in your life a new chapter a new phase is coming through because of this so we're really shaking up um going back again to like if there's been anything stagnant um really finding a sense of commitment um to deep personal relationships is going to bring some movement and shift in a new chapter in life and then we've got this fibonacci card um and this is in relation to, I'm not going to go into the science of Fibonacci, um, but it's like this deep patterning that's sort of like the building blocks of life that creates um, nature's patterns and stuff. Like you can see the Fibonacci code in terms of like how uh, seashells or a snail shell or certain patterns in leaves or plants develop. And I feel like this is another cue about um this new chapter coming through the way your life starts patterning around your one-on-one -on -one relationships is sort of the design of it is changing like a new if you were to say your relationships have felt like a um i don't know um like a snail shell like something's been slow and hibernating and maybe it's even like 
the snail is dead or something and it's just the shell like you're shifting the pattern and now you're going to be a fern or something but like that's how dramatic the change is the whole pattern of how your relationships are, are going to have like a completely different symbolism and feel and energy um, and a new kind of life and color even sort of like I don't know if that makes sense anyway okay so let's pick a card or two to get any more information about relationships I like these two cards meditation and the magician coming up again you guys this is so cool um manifest you're manifesting new things here and it's through going back to your sense of self like scheduling in some padding to connect to your intuition and your instincts and like really um finding some quiet time for yourself to listen to what you want instead of being kind of like um, told what to do but taking the time to get quiet with yourself and hear from the inside of what you want you are going to get messages and it's really you know bringing new manifestation a new energy new life new beauty new completely new vision um to things it's really cool i love this um I think I want to roll the sign, the astrology dice about the zodiac signs to see if there's like uh, what signs relationships might have that are coming through. So some Virgos may come into your life or may be important to you in relationships this year. Um, you know, Virgos are very good at understanding instinct and um, refinement and figuring out cycles in your life. So that could be an energy you're taking on is really finding a new rhythm for yourself or you could meet some Virgos or um, people with deep Virgo energy that where they really know how to um, make life holistic and rhythmic and um, refined. So that's a deep one coming through. I kind of feel like I want to roll one more. Um, so Aries. Yes, I love Aries for you guys. Um, this Aries energy is about really having tight personal boundaries and knowing exactly what you want and being assertive about what you want. And not, you know, it's time for you to not feel bad or like super, <laughs> I hate saying this, but like, it's time for you to stop considering others in relationships so much and ask for what you want and be assertive about what you want and have boundaries around what you need and want in relationships. So you could be developing that energy in terms of how you're connecting to others or you could um, see some Aries energy being important in your relationships um, and people in your life this year. So you may have some Aries energy come into your life that's really exciting and um, passionate and they really kind of get your juices flowing and you know the magician has some similar energy to Aries so you know some people could be around you that really um, uh, that you can model after in terms of finding drive and energy and passion for life again. Okay, let's look at the career and money sector of your life. Ooh, got a king. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, this is uh what I sensed about your sense of self, your your personal growth, you are like a really structured person, which naturally in a professional setting makes you a leader, makes you an authority. And this is showing that, yes, this is coming through this year. This is a really strong aspect of your life. Um, you really know how to um, be a grounded and... Um, 
logical, practical leader. And through that, you know how to, in your business and financial world, how to eat like that creates a lot of abundance and growth. So I feel like materially and professionally, you're probably in a good place already. And like, that's where you have confidence. It's maybe the other places you need to sort of like lighten up. But at the same time, it still feels like it might be time to shake some things up and even get more playful here. Um, like some things become stagnant, even though you kind of have some some potential power. Um, you're seeing, like with this card, we're seeing, this is sort of like a chaos card. And it's saying sort of like, allow the chaos to happen. And you'll find the gold within the different cracks that come up. So I feel like there might be some cracks starting professionally in your life and if you allow some stagnant things to crumble away you'll see that there's a lot of gold still um, a lot more value that you haven't even seen yet sort of hidden in these cracks and you're going to be able to pivot and um yeah so don't be scared to kind of uh allow some messiness and chaos also into your professional world because I feel like it's going to allow some things to fall away and for you to see where there was gold where you didn't see it before but there's real opportunity hiding um, but you're not going to see it unless you allow certain things to crumble away and I feel like these threads of like chaos are running through everywhere we see the threads here we see these threads um in this bridge, it's all leading somewhere. It's all leading somewhere. There's a movement here. And you need to kind of like allow um, the past to be the past and for things to get messy and to follow the threads because they're going to lead you to new um, opportunity and potential that you haven't seen um, so far. Okay, let's see if we can get any more clarity about that. There's these two cards. Ah! Oh, how funny. The two of wands came out again, but I want to start with the star card. There's a new wish. You have a new wish around career, around your position in the world, around what you want to be known for and build authority in. You've been dreaming about something. Um, and it's, you know, it's coming. This is the year that um, some kind of wish or dream uh, is coming through, but you need to allow some messiness. You can't reach this star unless you allow some things to fall away. Um, it's almost like the start of the year, this little um, diamond is like your star, your focus, the dream. But at the start of the year, I'm imagining there's like some cloud cover here and you need to just sort of like allow the clutter to fall away and the star will reveal itself. The gold will reveal itself that's been hiding. It's right in front of you. It's just like you just need to allow some things to fall away. And then this two of wands, new projects are coming through. Um, that you're going to feel really excited to do some planning around, to envision around, and to start building on it. Something new, though. Cool. Okay. Um, let's leave that. I want to... We haven't rolled the houses dice. The sector of your life that might hold some sort of a key. Um, that's what I'm feeling. There's some area of your life that needs attention that holds the key to um, manifesting this this dream. The twelfth house. <laughs> the twelfth house is totally about chaos and letting things shed and letting things go. And when you do, I love. There's a new message though coming through for me that I think is important with this. Um, when we let let, you know, this is a house of shadow work, of letting go of baggage, of finding forgiveness, of finding self-compassion. So there's some things you're really letting go of that 
that feels complex and overwhelming and like a lot of baggage and very confusing. And you just need to surrender. You just need to let whatever wants to go, go and not try to control it. And when you do that, the 12th house holds our biggest boundaries um, in terms of um, an area of our life. When you kind of let surrender to let certain things go, to find certain forgiveness for things, self-compassion, the muse shows up. And I love that in this deck, the kings are called the muse of materials. The muse is showing up for you um, probably more towards the end of the year as you've kind of let go and surrendered and let things kind of pass. And deep inspiration. This is the house of composition and artistry and... Um, and spirituality and inspiration. Did I already say inspiration? If I didn't, inspiration. <laughs> um, so the beauty of chaos, of these big complex boundaries, is it comes with a lot of deep understanding and comprehension of things and um, inspiration, and a new inspiration is coming through. So really cool. Um, last card is just sort of a overall directional about your year and it is transformation. Um, so things that feel like crises, things that feel out of your control or like upheaval or like something's falling apart is only transition and transitions are what are needed to shake things up and reorder life repattern life i feel like that's been the main theme of this this reading and coming in with an attitude of lightheartedness experimentation um finding time to listen inwardly to what you want um will pull you through this transformation year with um, a whole new structure of who you are and how life patterns around you. So I think that's really cool. Um, so just, you know, a lot of people can, even if they feel like life is stagnant, change can be terrifying. <laughs> so just be patient. I think a lot of change is happening in your life and a lot of transformation. And when you're in the thick of it, it feels like being in the house that's being torn apart and renovated. It can kind of feel very disorienting and uncomfortable, but you're building a whole new structure. And when it's done, it's just like a new sense of empowerment and um, connection to yourself in life. And it's really cool. So um, big, I feel like it's a really big year for you guys. So um, exciting, be patient, be playful, be light that's what I'm going to leave you with. So happy 2022, you guys. Hello, pile two. Welcome to your 2022 reading. If you guys picked this pile, you picked the prince pin with the two doves. So this pin to me, the pins of the piles kind of symbolize some overarching theme, I feel like, to the year. And to this, um, for this pin, for you guys, I feel like you're really um, working on your sense of like something very artful in you, some sense of presence and presentation. Um, I feel like you guys are the performers of the group or the artists of this reading <laughs> of, of the piles. Um, but yeah, you're really working on a sense of artfulness in life, I feel like, um, in 2022. Whether you are kind of an artful uh, <laughs> um, performer type or artist type or not, this year holds some keys to you uh, really developing a sense of presence and artfulness in general. Okay, so we're going to go through the four main cardinal directions in life, and we're starting out with your sense of self, and these cards are going to stay out through the whole reading because this direction really informs all the other directions. Um, it's sort of where we get our 
our drive, our motivation, and our order from the things. Um, and then we are also going to go through um, what it is you need to nurture and nourish and ground, how you're finding your grounding in life this year, relationships, career and finances, and then the last little thing will be like a directional guidance, an overall directional guidance for the year. Um, okay, so I love the cards that came out for this. So, uh oh, just an, also a reminder. So, like, I've um, pre picked all of the, the cards for these different categories, but I'm also going to organically, if I have questions come up, um, things that we need some clarity on, I have another tarot deck that I'm going to kind of pull from and some astro dice that. Sometimes may be needed, and for some piles we may not need it. Um, I used it in every every little segment in the last reading, so we'll see what happens this time. Okay, so for you guys, there's a certain flexibility being asked for in life right now. Um, but within that flexibility, so you see this person like really balancing... Um, the way they're connected into the ground and the sense of themselves is very grounded, but other parts of them is needing to kind of be flexible and explore and stretch in new ways. So I feel like um, the way your personal growth is going this way is you're really wanting to sort of stretch yourself. You know who you are, you know what you want, but you needed to challenge yourself to go beyond the limits. I mean, look at what this person's doing. What is it you're trying to grow in? What's your art? What's your performance? What's your presence? What do you feel like you could never attain? I feel like anyone starting to get into some sort of like gymnastics or Cirque du Soleil type stuff, like upon entry, they might be like, I am never going to be able to do that. What is it you think you're never going to be able to do? Stretch yourself, try, find your grounding, find your strength and um, stretch yourself. See, push yourself to certain limits, certain edges and boundaries and see how you can move past certain limitations you've held or thought you had. <laughs> um, and then the nightingale, I love this. Like, I really do feel like there's something you're vocalizing. Um, it might just be, you know, really being able to um, move what's inside of you to the outer world in a way that you've had a hard time doing before, or you could be a singer or a speaker. Um, but there's, there's something about your inner world that is ready to come out and be spoken. And you're really going to grow with that. And especially, yeah, if you're someone that uses your, your voice in terms of how you feel your sense of self and identity. Um, it's, yeah, that's something you're really pulling out of you this year. Maybe you've had a fear of speaking up or a fear of singing or a fear of saying the thing that you really are <laughs> or that's really in you. And you're just like, um, everyone else be damned. I don't care about your judgments. I don't care about your criticisms. I don't care. I'm doing it because it's what I want to do for me. This pile is about things you need to do for you, not for anybody else. So who cares what anyone else says about what you speak? You need to, there's something you need to bring out from within you that's going to make you happy. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't make somebody else happy. Um, and then we've got these cute flower essence cards. And this is a card, um, these cards are about a balance point. It shows like, how things are going if we're in balance versus how they're going if we're in in balanced or in <laughs> imbalanced sorry <laughs> not in balance and in balance um certain patterns that emerge so you have chamomile energy around you this year um when you are in balance around personal growth and a sense of centering in self 
There's something very serene in you, a sun-like disposition, an emotional balance. I love the sun-like disposition because I do feel like you're in a spotlight this year. You're really stepping up and standing out. When you are not in balance, you're gonna get upset, moody, irritable. There's an inability to release emotional tension, especially in stomach or solar plexus. So when you're feeling moody and irritable, what are you not pushing yourself in, stretching your, your um, sense of who you are? What are you not saying? What are you not, how are you not putting yourself in the spotlight when you know you should be or um, not necessarily that you have to like seek the spotlight, but if you're being asked to step up and the spotlight, spotlight is on you, why are you shunning it? Like, what is the fear? How can you move past it? How can you stretch yourself to move past some limitations? Um, if you're getting moody and irritable, uh, something to kind of push yourself around, I think. I feel like this is a pretty clear energy but i do want to roll just um the planet dies real quick um the sun, the sun oh, i love it you're in the spotlight this year you guys step up push yourself it may be for some of you that might be terrifying and for some maybe you've craved this and wanted it for a long time whichever you are you're being asked to um, push yourself a little with that and move past any limitations and um, really um, do it for you, not for anybody else. I love it. I actually wanna keep this up the whole time. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're gonna look at nurturing. What do you need to nourish? How do you stay grounded this year? What is home and family looking like? Um, self-care, what's keeping you sane. <laughs> um, four of inspirations, I love this. So like really um, building a solid community around yourself of supportive friends. I feel like this is definitely like a friend element. Um, not necessarily going to like big parties per se, unless you're, you know, that's your cup of tea, but like uh, this is more about really nurturing um, the closest community, your closest friends, bringing them together a lot, um, nurturing them and let them, letting them nurture you and really building um, a beautiful support system. Um, I feel like when you're in the spotlight, that is a beautiful thing to be able to kind of lean back on and have people who have your back and have the back of others and like really celebrate that, honor it, create ritual around it. Maybe you have like um, every Sunday you do a certain thing with friends that's sort of ceremonial or just um, fun, um, but just like really create some, some um, ritual around this and make it feel celebratory and fun and light and um, easy at the same time. It doesn't have to be like <laughs> really deep and serious. Um, Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this is saying that in terms of your energy and how you care for yourself, you need to pay attention to creating sustainable rhythms. You're ready to conquer, you have a lot of energy but you need to be very practical about this and you need to do things in a sustainable way. Don't take on too much. Give yourself time like this flower hair, give yourself time to replenish. Um, never, you know, like don't try to hide and like detox the whole year and don't push yourself so you're never doing that like you need to create yeah just like a rhythm that's very sustainable because you're really conquering things this year you're really pushing forward and um putting yourself out there and creating movement a lot of movement in life um yeah oh <laughs> Again, that's a theme coming through with the Awaken card. 
something is awakening deep within you you I feel like you've put a lot of energy into self-care maybe and like now something is really waking up inside of you and so some self-care around keeping that energy alive like a little bit of exercise a healthy diet to really keep yourself clear and energized and um, this awaken card is saying there's no going back you may even be like moving home this year um, but there's something that there's no going back on. Something has woken up in you um, that you are, there's momentum and you're moving forward in some way. And whatever that, that movement is, whatever is awakening in you, and it could be different for everybody, it's something you need to nurture and um, nourish. However that whatever that means for you. Actually, let's roll, um, I wanna roll the sign dice to get some info about like how to nourish whatever's awakening. That thing is gonna be different, but like what nourishes it is kind of like what I'm curious about. Cancer, I mean, that's just the, the sign. Cancer's a sign of <laughs> nurturing and nourishing. Um, finding a sense of soulfulness. Um, this is just like general self-care too, like really um, do little things for yourself that are beautiful, create ritual. I feel like there's ritual coming through here, creating rhythm and ritual and how you nurture yourself, like doing it with friends, but also just for yourself to keep this thing that's awakening in momentum, like take baths, give yourself time to have like some tea and read a book or watch a Netflix or... Um, going on walks, just nature walks where you can just kind of let your mind wander, daydream, um, write some stories. Uh, this is very imaginative territory to connect with your women. I don't care what gender you are, connect with women, uh, connect with family if that's something that um, is in your life that's positive, um, connecting with family. Okay, I just want to draw maybe one tarot card. I feel like your messages have been really clear. I haven't really had to draw tarot cards, but just for the fun of it, let's just draw one. Um, five of, interesting. Okay, five of discs, destitution. Um, this is like a feeling of lack materially. And I feel feel like what this is saying is that's where you have come from in 2021 maybe and these things are going to move you past it so really creating some some beauty around your support systems some nurturing of yourself creating a sustainable rhythm in terms of what you're conquering you're going to move past this sense of sort of like um not having enough in life you need to fill your cup up. That's what's going on. You haven't had, you haven't taken care of yourself and it's created some sort of um, sense of scarcity. And that will change if you do very, very simple things of nurturing yourself and nurturing a small, beautiful community around you of support. That will disappear. Okay, let's move on to um, what's next? Relationships. Okay, kind of a mess over here. <laughs> okay, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is funny. We had four of wands in this position in that last pile. This is important in your life. Okay, so, um, Relationship-wise, you're manifesting something new. Maybe, um, you know, this can be romantic. It can be business relationships or close one-on-one -on -one relationships, whether that is friends or um, family, whatever that is for you. It can be multiple of these that we've talked about. But something's really um, coming alive here. And, uh, you know, make a manifestation board. What are you looking for in partnerships? Um, what what um, really fascinating, beautiful energy do you feel is coming out in you 
that you need matched in others that become very relational with you this year. Create a, yeah, I'm just going to say create a manifestation board because you are ready to manifest something. So um, what do you want here? Up to you. Create a board. That's, I'm going to leave that up to you. An important thing in helping this manifest is, again, the Four of Wands, like we saw last time, is this, I feel like this is a thread that, um, is maybe throughout in general your whole reading that's important in every aspect of your life is creating a really strong sense of community around you so take the initiative to create um, celebration and joy and honoring and respect and specialness around you know a few certain friends or if it's your family or you know whatever that is some work colleagues Create something really special, like really nourish the people that love you and let them nurture you. And this is opening up something really deeply in your heart that's allowing this beautiful relationship, some new manifestation. Even if you're already in strong partnerships, it's like new energy, new movement, new uh, things are coming through within that commitment. If you're not in commitments, you're manifesting a commitment. So either way, but there's something about having a support system and really celebrating that support system and honoring it that's um, foundational to this. Um, roots and ascending channel. Um, this is, to me, you see this energy coming. I, I just think of like roots feeding finding nourishment from the earth to help grow. Um, and I think the roots in your life right now is this community, the sense of community. And it's really waking something up in your throat chakra. Oh, again, yeah, look at those colors too. Speaking, you're speaking your truth and you're gonna need support to do that for some reason. Probably different for each of you depending on what this means to you, whether that's part of a performance aspect or just speaking up about who you are and what you need. Um, but the roots of this, what's nourishing you is this deep community, um, a loving community, and it's giving you the strength and the foundation to let that open up. And it's opening your heart. Um, this is opening your heart, which is allowing your throat chakra to not just open up, but like compose, like you are unleashing something in your voice. Totally, like really beautiful. I want to draw um, a couple cards for this. Um, let's see. Ooh, I don't know, like five cards came out. We'll just cruise through them. We'll see what they say. <laughs> See what messages pop out. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, give me just a second. I have to download this for a minute. Um, mm, mm -hmm, okay. Yeah, okay. Just starting here, you are, I mean, the Ace of Wands, Magician, something new that's really like starting a new project may kind of like open up to or you might meet someone this relationship might have something to do with like a new idea or a new project a new creative project which makes sense with this prince card there's something about the spotlight and performance like a new project is coming through and it's really connecting you and your relationships um trust that you have the skill you've really worked hard on something um keep working on it this year, but your skill and the dedication to it is really kind of um, also found, like on top of your strong, you know, the community that you really need to nourish and nurture this year, um, you have a skill that you are going to be working on, have been working on, that's really gonna be foundational to um, that's coming alive this new project is allowing some skill to elevate 
to be seen in the world like the sun. Um, conquering again, we have another prince here. You're conquering things. Um, oh, I think we, was that? Oh my gosh, you guys, my mind. I don't know if it was the prince from, from the, uh, nourishment or if this was last pile, but, um, I'm going to say it was just, we just had it. Prince of Discs again, finding a sustainable, like you're conquering, but you need to make sure you're sustainable. I feel like this is like another double reminder, like be sustainable, be practical. Um, things are going to be very exciting and there's a lot of movement around you, but you need to, you know, stay grounded <laughs> and um it might be that a partner in your life is very skilled but also very reliable you may find some very reliable partnerships and some very skilled partnerships through a new project coming through um going back to that last pile where there was that five of pentacles that sort of was some scarcity um your manifestation is is bringing a lot of value and um, the relationships that you find develop or already have in your life have a lot of wisdom about how to to manage the that the new value accumulating or you may find a partner that is very um, abundant and helping and this is also saying I think Mm, I think a lot of people are going to want a piece of you this year. Keep it close and tight. Don't let just anybody into your community. Don't partner with just anybody. Like you need to be really discerning because you're going to have a lot of choices about people wanting to exchange with you, to partner with you. Um, you need to um, really listen to your intuition and trust if you get a no from your body in your body and it even doesn't make logical sense because this is about the emotions if you're getting a no from your body and your heart trust it you need to be really discerning because a lot of opportunities are coming through so don't worry about saying no because there's other things lining up okay i feel like that was a really good we got a lot of cards there. Um, okay, let's look at career and um, let's see what's coming through. Which I feel like um, this reading is sort of centered on a lot of something career-ish to me um, overall this year. Seven of pen oh, cool. Um, okay. So, um, wow. Yeah, there's something really new coming out of you. You've really opened your heart. Your heart is, um, is wide open. Look how she's just like pushed it forward, but also from like her sacral energy where the, um, water element lives and fluidity, um, these are really connected, like your your sacral and your heart are very connected. And a lot of new projects, a lot of new vibrancy and color and um, beauty is coming out of you professionally in your career. A lot of diversity too, sort of like thinking about going under the sea. There's something very otherworldly, there's something diverse um mesmerizing like you are just ready to be on the scene <laughs> you have so much to give um in your professional life this is really in certain ways um saying similar things maybe with just like a different element though um you've spent a lot of time nurturing certain things about yourself that you've wanted to put out there that maybe have felt like they we're just not manifesting. They weren't coming. To <coughs> Sorry, that's my dogs fighting. Um, you know, they weren't manifesting for some reason or coming into fruition, but they are now. 
all of a sudden, all of these seeds you've planted are coming up and you've, you're growing a diversity of um, uh, what you have to give and put into the world and people are really going to value it. You're going to find a lot of like, again, you're moving past that five of pentacles scarcity. You're finding a lot of value for a lot of different things. A diversity of things is, is opening up in your life. This is such a beautiful reading, you guys. And then this card um, may be indicating that there's some old ways, some old things you've been doing that are ready, like they just haven't worked whatever you've been doing professionally in the past. I feel like, um, I feel like you're completely changing. Um, like I almost wonder if you've dreamed about being an artist or a performer or someone who uses their voice or um, just um, craved a sense of presence in what you do. It doesn't even have to be an artist or performer, like just having a presence about you and your position in the world. And whatever you were doing before, just it was like it wasn't happening. And that element is like, um, it's like a star that's closing in on itself that sort of explodes. And all that energy from something in the past closing in on itself, that explosion is creating this whole new world for you. And I love that this card is 11. That's like walking through a whole new, it's the doorway to a completely new dimension. So you are really stepping into a different world. I think in your career and you're finding the thing that opens you up and you're finding the thing that nourishes your diversity and that people really value about you. So big, I love this big energy here. Um, okay, let's just draw one or two tarot cards real quick. I just feel this one. Eight of, yeah, this is mimicking to me. Um, what I just said about this 11 card, um, you're stepping away. You have been in something that hasn't worked for you and you're stepping away and you're being more daring. You are doing something for your, going back to the sense of self reading, this personal growth reading, you're doing things newly for you. You've maybe been fearful of stepping into some, into your sense of presence in the world. And um, you're moving on from holding that back and you're being really daring and pushing your limits and going for it. So this is moving away from what was, stepping through a whole new portal. This isn't like a new path, this is a new portal <laughs> into something totally different. And I'm gonna roll both the house dice of like different areas of your life and the energy dice, zodiac dice um let's see what other <laughs> oh my gosh you can't make this up your sense of self the first house who you are your identity is ready to shine leo and the sun the sun rules leo you're ready to shine you guys be courageous be bold don't give a shit what other people are doing it do it for yourself whatever you're doing you're doing it for yourself not for others that's the key here don't do this move. Don't um, crave for th to do things for attention from others. Do it from a sense of like, this is just who I am. So it's what I have to do. Take it or leave it. This is for me. But people are going to take it because you've got the sun and Leo and all these beautiful cards. So um, you're stepping into your identity in a whole new way. It's really cool, you guys. Um, okay, so last card is just sort of a, it's called the Inner Compass cards. It's just going to give you like a general advice, direction, theme, something to think about, teamwork. Okay, so this card is about, it's sort of deceiving because you would think teamwork is about like collaboration, but this is the collaboration about finding 
the most integral alignment of mind, body, soul. So these things are really actually very difficult to get aligned within us. And a lot of times we don't even like recognize that they're not aligned, but you're figuring this out. You're playing with your flexibility, your balance. You're moving things in new ways, trying new things, and you're figuring out that alignment of body, mind, soul, how they work together, where they, where they connect, where the threads of connection for each of them are, because each of these things may want slightly different things. But there is always going to be something that really aligns them that's your true essence and um, you're finding it this year. It may take the year, you know, a lot of this stuff going on, like for some of you, it may be right out of the gate or it may be something that like you really work on and by the end of the year you get here. But at some point this year, whether it's right off the bat, mid-year, but by the end of the year, you guys, if you keep up the work we've talked about, you're gonna find your true alignment and you're really gonna shine and you're really gonna feel good about yourself and your direction and everything. So um, that's where I'm gonna leave you. I really loved your reading. I think um, you guys are in for some really special things to happen this year. So go get them, <laughs> all right. Hello, pile three. If this is your pile, you picked the pin of this woman kind of looking through a hoop with a bunch of spheres around it. And I feel like even though these aren't like moon phases, it feels sort of like a moon. It feels like this person is really seen to the heart of something about their inner nature, hence the rhythms that support them. And she's got this flower in her hand, so I feel like she's really honoring and feeling like this is a special insight coming through. So I feel like this is at the heart of some kind of theme about your year, um, which is really beautiful. It's always nice to really figure out our, our deepest inner essence and nature and how to support that. So um, this reading, we're gonna go through what I call kind of the cardinal directions of um, sense of self, what nurtures and grounds us, relationship, and then career and finances. Um, I have pre-picked cards for each of those areas of life, but throughout organically I will be picking tarot cards to tease out sort of um, any clarifying information that might be needed or just extra thoughts. And then I also have some astro dice that um, there's no particular rhythm I've used with the readings with it. It's just sort of like when it feels right or necessary or what kind of um, speaks to me <laughs> as we go through this. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with your sense of self with these cards and um, then we will these others to the side, what is nourishing you, relationships, career, and then the ending card will have sort of like a, a this, we're using the deck called the inner compass deck, and it kind of just gives like an overall to like ending directional thought for this reading. Okay, so jumping in to your 2022 reading, what is going to be going on, what you're working on, things um, really infused in your year around your sense of self, your personal growth, direction, passion, motivation. I'm, by the way, going to be keeping these cards up the whole reading because I do feel like the sense of self is like what creates our order in life. And so... Um, it's always a reference point in terms of like every other area of life. Uh, this needs to kind of be the heart of what motivates everything. So <clears throat> jumping in and I'm getting um, sort of like a congestion in my throat. So uh, I do feel like this is my pile where you have a little bit of a, a tough, um, personal growth trajectory this year. It will end up being a really beautiful thing, but it's going to be tough to, I think, for many of you to go through this. Some of you might already be looking forward to it and know it's on the plate. 
um, but my throat is totally like it just got so congested and like closed up and I actually have to take a glass of or a sip of water okay so starting out you are at a crossroads right now around your sense of self who you are your direction in life um there's some sort of inner tension I feel like you guys have that you're really um, needing to acknowledge because it's um, it's creating some anxiety, I think. And if you're feeling anxiety, it means that there's like something about tension around your personal growth that you're really needing to make a decision about. It's your time to step into who you really are and step up to the plate and acknowledge how you're feeling and deal with that and choose a lane. Otherwise you're going to um, even get like a little bit, I don't wanna say like a serious illness, but you might, like your immune system might be affected and get more colds or, you know, whatever. Um, your nervous system is really gonna be impacted in a negative way if you keep sitting in this, some sort of indecision. It's also really important to note that if you do acknowledge that you're sort of sitting in some kind of limbo, not making some kind of decision about something that's affecting your personal growth, that don't just sit and wait for another person to make your decision or for the universe to. This is your time where you really need to step up to the plate, take your power and make your decision. Something also worth noting is like, you wanna look back at this point. I feel like it's a pivotal point where in 20 years you're gonna look back and be like, yeah, that determined the trajectory of where I am now. And um, so you really want to look at like what sort of duties and obligations you have right now. And are those things that are just like not necessary and not serving you well? Or are those things you really need to step up to and be a mature person and um, find some growth that helps you to be someone that can handle these very adult, <laughs> mature things and kind of um, grow into a more wise, mature, um, big person, you know? <laughs> um, and then looking into the scorpion, you have a lot of drive, a lot of passion, and a lot of power, and you may be career-driven, and that has something to do maybe with this indecision or the fork in the road of like, um, am I choosing career over family, um, over relationships, over other things in life, or am I not taking my career as seriously as I really know inwardly I care about, um, but there's something around your, your passion to kind of stand out in life and hold a sense of power in your personal development that you're really needing to face and work on this year. And I feel like even though this, this reading is about, or these specific cards are about self-development, I do feel like your self-development is really tied into others, um, even like, I mean, maybe generally, or it might just be this year, it probably depends on each person. But I think you're going to learn a lot of lessons around how your sense of your need for control and power, how it affects others and how that from others affects you. And I think, um, yeah, you're going to learn some lessons around this and find maybe through some areas of burning people are getting burned you're gonna kind of learn how to harness this better and be more aware of it and find a greater maturity with it um but definitely there there may be some stinging points in the year um going both ways like from you to others and um 
the way other people might react to you as well or act towards you. Um, but it's really a beautiful year to to develop a lot of sense of sense of self awareness around the power you wield and how it affects your life and others around you. Um, because it can be, you know, power can be a beautiful thing and it can also be a very abusive thing. So yeah, I think just like really paying attention to its effects and how things and people respond and react to you. And if that, you feel like that and is healthy for people, you know, like what are you getting back? Do you feel like you are contributing to the health of others? Um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> take that how you will. Um, this card is from a flower essence deck and it's showing, I think it's a really cool one to use for self-development because it's showing, um, at least for this year, this is the dogwood flower, patterns that will show up of when you are kind of centered and in balance and patterns that will show up when you're out of balance. And I think this card has a message that's really important and at the heart of maybe some of these uh, in decisions around the fork in the road and, and some things around power. <laughs> um, so when in balance, you're grace filled, you have grace filled movement, physical and etheric harmony in the body. Uh, when out of balance, there's an awkward and painful awareness of the body, latent emotional trauma or abuse affecting the body or accident prone. Um, so specific to maybe just a handful of people seeing this, uh, if you experience some physical trauma growing up, this is the year to get some professional help with that. Um, it wasn't something you should have experienced that's heartbreaking. Um, it might be really affecting your life in ways that you're not totally aware of though. And this is the year to unpack it to examine it, to observe it, to uproot it, to let it go and um, see how it's been impacting certain um, dynamics in your life and dynamics of your personal growth. Um, for many of you, this might just be um, societal issues, communications we got through, media, culture, family, friends, whatever about body that didn't totally match who you are and what you were and like some awkwardness developed um, or just in general. I mean, everyone, <laughs> I don't know anyone who doesn't have some sort of like um, awkward feelings about something about their body. So more in general for the majority, it's just a year to kind of like really um, become very conscious of where you hold any awkward feelings about your connection to your body and to unpack that and work on it and find some sort of body love, do some practices that really, um, help you to, to find love for your body for wherever it is. And I think it's really going to, impact some sense of your own self and how you're able to kind of progress and grow in life and find some passion and love for yourself. So um, definitely a little bit of a tough road in the self growth, but I think it's just like it's time to do this and it's time to uh, uh, step up to the plate on something I think has been in your awareness for a while. Um, otherwise it wouldn't be right on the surface now. So, um, but going in there, I can only imagine how much that's going to connect you into so much more personal passion and aliveness and finding, you know, back to this pin, like the truth of your inner nature without these weird, things living in our body. Um, who are you with those uprooted and dissolved, you know, 
and really finding a new way to support who you are um, in, in a deeper way you've never totally been able to see because of certain blocks here. Okay, so we're going to keep these up all reading to reference them, but we're moving on now to um, to how you need to find some, how you can support yourself and ground yourself and take care of yourself this year, what sorts of things you need to do for that. Um, so... Um, Again, I feel like there is a, a new deep awareness surfacing, what we've talked about in terms of especially this power constructs within you and body constructs within you, like you're witnessing these effects and um, Usually when we really see something, we really witness it, we know it's time to take care of. And you're really going to nurture that this year. You're going to find the help you need. You're going to face it. Look at those, you know, she's, even though this body is curled up and like really hurt, her eyes are, are there. I don't know if you can see this card. Her eyes are looking straight ahead. They're present. They're witnessing which means, and when we witness, we, we are able to kind of um, transmute and alleviate and um, take the steps we need to take. Um, so it looks, you know, there's some tears, I think. It looks like tears in her eyes. I think it's hard, but you're doing the work and it's really nurturing you and it's bringing a new sense of maturity and it's bringing your voice into a much healthier place. Um, so it is a beautiful, even if it's painful, it's gonna be a really beautiful thing to do. Um, you need to look at, to support yourself in this, um, you have, there's something about you where you have created a lot of abundance around you um, whether that is financial or just, um, you know, I mean, the pentacles usually relates to the material realm, but it doesn't have to be money. It could just be like you've created a really beautiful, um, comfortable home space, or you have possessions that really comfort you, um, and bring you a lot of joy and harmony. Um, there's, there's some beautiful harmonic material rhythm in your life that is really um, abundant and that's something that you need to use to um, support you this year, to make you feel like you have some grounding, that you have um, a, like a really, stable foundation to stand on as you do this tough emotional work. Yeah, that's what it is. I feel like your material foundation is quite solid and that can really nourish you and you can look at that as something to stand on and support you as, yeah, as you dive into some emotional terrain. Um, also, I think that this is like um, trying to point out to you that there's certain things that come very easy to you and to just let them be easy and to let that be a magical thing in your life and let it nourish you in an easy way. Um, yeah, I like that. And solar, again, these eyes, like I feel like solar indicates like things that are becoming very clear and what we're becoming aware of. And I feel like that, what I was saying about like, she's witnessing things, she's seeing them. You're like becoming very, very, very clear about the depth of who you are and how certain things, certain traumas or hard issues have affected you and you're just ready to um, it's going to nurture you to uproot these, to witness them, to see them, 
and um, that that process in itself, even though it's tough, is really going to nourish you and give you a lot of depth in life that you've uh, maybe not understood how to uh, develop. And um, it's going to bring a lot of brilliance and it's really going to clear up some tensions that are within you. Okay, I want to pull a couple of tarot cards for this one. Ah. Okay. Two major arcana. So this is a big deal. Um, I think really witnessing whatever has been blocked within you that's really blocked a lot of your sense of personal growth and feeling happy in life. By witnessing this, you're going to find a lot of new balance. Um, justice is the skills. So sometimes it can be about like karma, but I feel like for you, it's not necessarily about like pointing fingers or, um, putting someone else through hell for something they've done. This is just about your own energy, finding a new balance and finding a new sense of ease and freedom. Um, by witnessing, you'll, you'll gain that. And then the will of fortune coming through here is showing that it's really going to create new movement and a new chapter and new fortunate things in your life. You're moving from sort of some darkness up to light. It's really going to put you into a much lighter, much happier, much easier, less tension filled um, situation. Um, I do want to roll a planetary dice too for this. Okay. The south node. Yeah, so south node. Okay, I like this. Um, there's something, uh, this could even be issues from a past life, but there's something karmic here that you've been dealing with, with this sort of um, tension and uh, dis-ease with with body and growth and nurturing yourself. Um, and you're clearing that karma is being cleared out. And I don't want to say it's something you've deserved, not at all, but it's just like something um, that's been part of your learning process that you came into this lifetime knowing a lot about. Um, that's maybe been needed as part of who you're developing into. Um, but this karmic tie, this karmic work that's been going on is coming to a close. And you're going to switch into the North Node very soon, sometime this year, which means like a new sense of um, personal uh, awareness, destiny, passion, a sense of self. So you've really had to kind of like unpack some difficult things um, around body for some reason, some, some wisdom you've had to gain. You've had to go through these things to gain the wisdom you needed around body. But this year, you're going to switch into a north node where you get to choose your direction. Like I said, with this, it's your it's time for you to choose your destiny and not let the past affect who you've been and where you've gone in life. So that's really cool. I love that. Okay. All right. Moving on to relationships. Okay. Hmm. Look at all these, these colors are amazing. 
Um, okay, so page of inspiration. I feel like you're really going to have a lot of, um, like this is a bright spot in your life, your relationships, whether those are romantic, professional, um, relationships with certain friends or family, any one-on-one -on -one relationship that's important this year. Um, there's a vitality in other people that's infectious, that's gonna rub off on you, that you may even like find people to model yourself after that have either done this kind of work and sort of alleviated past traumas and are like really alive now or just generally that's their energy and uh, something about it motivates you to want to be like that. So motivates you to do cer certain work, but I feel like you're really gonna feel inspired and alive and a lot of vitality around partnerships this year. So that's really beautiful. Temperance is also coming through. Um, I do think that there's been an important relationship already in your life that you've gone through a lot of work with this person where they may have been a catalyst for you to see this and to recognize certain patterns you weren't totally aware of or the effect you have that you weren't totally aware of um, where there's been many, many um, integrations of like realignment within you due to kind of the way you push each other that's helped you see where certain limitations have come into place in your life because of your past. Um, and this is coming into such a beautiful place where you're kind of getting into this final integration process where you're, that final push is coming through to really um, tip the skills to do this work and really finally um, face up to it and, and move past some of these things that have kind of gotten in the way of your joy and growth in life. Um, so I, I do, I think relationships are going to be a really beautiful key thing for you and also really supportive. Um, there, these, these characters are willing to walk through fire with you and for you. So that's so beautiful. Um, I love this children of light. This is showing so much to me about what I said with this pin of like, there's something about your inner nature that has been blocked from you seeing the wholeness and completeness or the core, most core essence of it. And it is alive with diversity and experience and like all the painful experiences you've had that shouldn't, you know, that weren't deserved. No one deserves hurt um, as a child. But they did, um, I'm gonna be careful about how I say this. Something ab about those experiences created a certain uh, um, awareness of the diversity of your human spirit. And as a child, you are really connected to some massive diversity within you that allowed a day to be packed worth into like a year's worth of, of experiences. And as you got older, you kind of built walls around this but as you do this work to kind of witness and release certain things and see your patterns, um, this diversity is coming back and it's just like so beautiful and special. And I, again, it's connected. I really think partners, partnerships, um, be they personal or professional or romantic, um, are really inspiring you to go here, to remember um, maybe it's even relationships with, um, your own children or nieces and nephews or a friend's children where you're, you're seeing that magic of connection to imagination and nature 
through your relationship with a, with ch children that's really reminding you of a special quality you have that you forgot about and how diverse and beautiful it is. I really feel the need to roll all of the astro dice for this one. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Okay, so six. North node. Yeah, the, whatever the relationships you're feeling connected to that we've talked about, whatever those are, they hold your destiny. They hold the key to you claiming your personal direction, your personal passion. They're really there to support you to be you. Um, finding, so this was about like creating ritual and rhythm, this pin, um, to support who you are. Uh, through partnerships, you're also going to you know, really reconnect to certain rhythms. Um, maybe they have certain rhythms you can mimic, uh, or they just bring an awareness or help you. This could even be a relationship with a counselor, you know. Um, relationships are gonna help you to find the rhythms you need to support you stepping into your destiny. And Aquarius, so you could have um, relationships around you that really help you kind of break old constructs, break out of old patterns, rebel against old ways of being, um, that open your mind, that um, push you to envision a whole different future. Really beautiful things here. I love this. Okay. All right, that's where we're gonna leave relationships. I think that is a beautiful thing to lean into this year and they're gonna be so, so supportive and so helpful and so uh, magical. So that's really amazing. Okay, looking at career. Oh, you've got a king. Um, let's see. Mm. Right, okay. There's a couple things going on here. Um, I, I feel like I need to reorder this though to make it make sense of what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, so um, from the readings about personal growth, I felt like there was some sort of inner tension um, that wasn't even necessary, necessarily about you having to like choose a direction in life. It's just like this general tension you live with. Um, and I feel like a message is coming through about what this is. And it's about your position in the world versus, um, so almost like what you expect yourself to be versus who you really are. And you really need to take a look at the yin and the yang of yourself. Um, the sun and the moon of yourself. I feel like you're someone who's really leaned into the yang aspect of life because it's more predictable and more controllable. Um, it's where clarity lives. It's where linear things live. It's where, you know, and it is a beautiful thing. It brings us clarity. It brings us um, logic. It brings us an ability to shine and to perform and to, um, be vital, but I think that there is this yin, wild, dark energy within you that you don't um, honor and value enough, and sometimes it will take over in ways unexpected, like if you are someone who, I'm not 
I don't get the vibe that anyone here is necessarily like has addiction issues, but like if you're out with friends, you know, it happens maybe a couple times a year, you're out with friends and you're having some drinks and all of a sudden like it, it just, you get consumed by it and you kind of lose control. It's because you haven't really allowed yourself to embrace sort of this dark, wild territory within in your more normal, habitual life. And that's where this tension is lying. And um, there's something professionally where you need to, it's, yeah, it's living also some, somehow connected to your position in the world. You really want to be seen as like, um, this strong, intelligent authority. Um, but until you embrace some sort of more uh, intuitive, imaginative, um, soulful things professionally, that tension is going to persist. So kind of, yeah, kind of think about how you can allow a little bit more imagination and, um, I don't know, just freedom to be a little bit offbeat or something. <laughs> I don't know. Or just connected to nature somehow. And it will really ease this tension that lives within you. Um, but you have some really beautiful energy around profession. Like I really think people gather around you. This is the card of the hive mind. And I feel like you have this ability to um, live at the center of things that are, you know, the whole, where position and career lives. You have an ability to be at the center of things and for things to create hive around you. You are kind of um, very connected to um, the one mind, and so it attracts things to you professionally. Um, but the muse of emotions, this is the king of hearts in the traditional tarot. Um, you need to step beyond just being the center of hive activity and acknowledge that I think this is where the more yin feminine thing is, is that like in your profession, you're not just the boss and the authority. You're the, you're a heart within profession. You are a father figure within profession. You may be a boss at home <laughs> and then a father. Like it might be a little bit um, uh, upside down in your life where you're like a boss at home, but you're a father to people in your professional life. Um, but this is a beautiful quality and I think like really understanding that um, people look up to you like a father, like a family member in the professional realm might allow you to um, bring in some, some more of this kind of imaginative nurturing dark energy and like embrace that more and like just recognize um, that you have kind of a family quality in the professional realm and allow yourself to be a little bit more emotional because you do have um, a lot of control and, um, and um, heart to, to give. It won't giving into your your more wild yin side won't take you out of control. It will give you more control, um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I don't know. I think to you guys it will make sense. Um, but I do, yeah, I mean, it's not an energy I'm super familiar with, so hopefully I'm reading this right. But I feel like... Um, Yeah, I think in the professional realm and your position in the world, people see you as a father in, a, in some way. And so how can you 
use that power you've been given to be supportive and to um, help other people grow. Um, what kind of father do you want to be? Do you want to be an abusive father? Or do you want to be like a really nurturing, loving, um, supportive, encouraging, uh, teaching father? You know, there's something to think about. Um, I do want to pull maybe one or two tarot cards to make sure I'm getting all of that out right. <laughs> Three of Swords again. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, whatever pain is in that personal growth you hold in your body, it does leak into career too. Like taking care of this this year will help you be a more mature father. Um, and really like reimagine yourself as that role in a really more mature, beautiful way. Something also for career is you feel like you have to hold all of the weight and the burden and the responsibility and stress. Uh, and you don't. Because you have a hive mind, you need to be, get better at delegating you need to let some other people shoulder responsibility and maybe they're not going to do things as well as you, but until you let them learn for themselves, um, you won't have people to step up to the plate. You have to allow people to, to learn, um, if that makes sense to you. Uh, and you can encourage them, you can mentor them, you can teach them uh, in a in an encouraging positive way but you do need to allow people to take on some of the burdens and learn for themselves how to do it well and trust them to develop by doing that you're really like you're an amazing manifester professionally um and just these you know there's some maturity coming through some better delegation coming through you're going to learn lessons around that 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 this year and you're going to manifest in an even bigger, I feel like you manifest already in a big way, but like I think you're going to really level up in some important way. So that's really beautiful. Um, okay, let's look at the last message. And send you off into 2022. Yeah, surrender. I do think woven into the heart of everything is just like... It, there's an issue right at the surface that I think integrated into you very young um, that holds, that creates tension, that creates power issues, that creates awkwardness in body. Um, you know, any of these things, are you accident prone? Do you have awkward feelings about body, emotional issues that affect body? Um, I feel like these things are right at the surface. You know them. You're already witnessing them. You just need to surrender to the work and just say like, yeah, it's here. I see it. You see it. You know. Um, it's a spectrum for everyone here. For some, it may not be as serious. And for some, it could be quite serious. Surrender to this and get the appropriate. I feel like if you just put that ask into the universe, like what is the help I need? What is the... Um, what are the tools I need? What are the relationships I need to deal with this properly and like be rid of this affecting my growth in life? Put that, just put that ask out in, into the universe and it will show you. Just be aware and open and surrender and it will, you'll be shown what you need. So um, I think, you know, even though you have kind of a, um, a big year with a big thing to unpack, I think you're going to end 2022 like a whole new, empowered, amazing, loving, easy person. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys. Happy New Year. 
Hello, Pile 4, last pile of this 2022 reading. Um, this is such a cool pile. These pins that I chose, to me, they, they symbolize something at the heart of this reading. And I feel like this is sort of like, um, you are like a multi-dimensional being. And I feel like you're going to gain an awareness of that and really expand your consciousness this year around that and learn how to kind of um, relax into life more, knowing that um, you're living in many dimensions at once. So you don't have to fret about making any particular thing happen on any particular timeline and just sort of like trusting that many things are always happening and um, there's a lot of fertility around you so even if um, something doesn't end up working the way you want there's always going to be another chance and so it's just like finding a way to kind of relax and um, into life more and find a more easy um, relationship with life and know that there's so many multitudes of opportunities and many things always in process and development and anyway hopefully that makes sense <laughs> what I just said um, okay so in this reading we're gonna look at the four cardinal directions of life um, the directions put towards a, a person versus actual like east west, west north south are um your sense of self and personal growth um sense of how you ground and nurture yourself and then relationships and then the last one is career and finances so we're going to look at those those cardinal areas of life for you in 2022 and um we're going to start with, let's see, with the sense of self, identity, personal passions, what motivates you, what drives you, and what is happening around personal growth this year. Um, then we'll look at how you need to nourish and nurture yourself and ground yourself this year. And then we'll look at relationships career and then the last card is just sort of it's a from a deck called the inner compass and that's going to leave you with like a last directional message um so i've pre-picked all of these piles but throughout the reading i have a, a tarot deck and some astro dice and just organically there's no set way i'm gonna do this um if i need more clarification or just like want a little more depth to something or a little more information I'll draw either some tarot cards or use the dice and just um, kind of go with that um, and then these self-development cards I'm going to keep up throughout the whole reading because I do feel like these um, our sense of self is what what gives order to our life and what directs things and so everything should um, always be be referencing that point. Okay, so diving into sense of self, I do, yeah, um, with this pin kind of feeling like you're multidimensional, this card is honing in specifically on how you relate to time. And you've maybe always sort of realized time is a weird thing for you. Um, maybe you're good with time, but still just like find it strange, <laughs> um, or maybe you're terrible with time and have just never understood it. But I think this year you're going to really, um, recognize what a construct it is and how it kind of constricts life. And you're going to kind of like l let go of time as a, um, an element that constricts your personal growth. Um, and I'm not saying like you're just never gonna use a clock again, so never know when to be where. Like, of course, you know, um, that's how the world works. But in terms of your personal growth, 
the way um, your sense of what's linear in your development and your sense of what you're on time for or not on time for in terms of how you've developed is going to dissolve and you're really going to relax about like you're not too late to develop certain things you're right on time um that like a sense of your eternal eternal self may come up so you might relax around like things you fear you'll never develop and just be like, well, maybe next life I will, if you believe in next lives and just, and even if you don't, there just might be just some sort of relaxed sense of like, maybe another me in another dimension is developing that for me and I'll just get the download, you know, like, I don't know, some strange, like you guys are very interesting. Um, this is going to be an interesting reading because I want to, these things have come out of my mouth. I'm like, what does that even mean? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like multiple yous are living places and you can like just download to your multiple selves things that are going on. But like something about time and dimension is sort of um, unraveling in a very freeing way this year. And... Yeah, that leads perfectly actually into the sea serpent, which is um, really connected to the sacral chakra, where it's like the water element and our sense of fluidity and flow and femininity and um, emotion and wildness and creation. Um, yeah, you're just really going to be in a fluid, more cyclical rather than linear. Like you're you're learning how to see your sense of self, your identity, and your personal growth in a much more fluid way rather than these like very traditional like, well, at this age I should have this and this age I should do this and I should be this accomplished here. That doesn't apply to you. Like you're just very free and you're gonna understand that in like a really big, beautiful way this year. Like it's really gonna something... So I feel like you're getting downloads about this. Some download is going to happen and you're really going to understand this and like ease into life and find a new peacefulness with life. Um, okay, so this last card is from a flower essence deck and I thought it would be beautiful to use with that with the personal growth, personal development because it's... Um, uh, these cards are balance cards. They show certain patterns that show up when we're in balance versus out of balance. So this year, when you're in balance, working on these personal growth tools, you'll have sparkling vital force, feel awake and refreshed and in touch with natural life rhythms. Oh, that's so perfect. Just th rhythms are not linear. You're really, really getting that this year. Um, if you're in not in balance or you have an imbalance, um, the things that will show up that will clue you into like you need to kind of let go of these linear <laughs> time structures is you're going to feel dull, toxic, hungover, an inability to fully enter the body, especially in the morning. Um, addictive or erratic living habits that deplete life force. Mm, okay, this actually makes a lot of sense to me. I think this is a year you're really going to let go of some like uh, more traditional ways that the world works and that work for majority of people but have never worked for you because you're so... Um, cosmically, dimensionally distributed, if that makes sense. I feel like that will make sense to you guys. Um, the way most people work does not work for you and you've tried to, to work the way other people work and it doesn't work. And I feel like you already know that and I feel like you've dipped in and out of this, but I feel like this year it's hitting home and you're really going to have like a much better foundational understanding of how to live in your own rhythm. 
in a more dimensional rhythm um, and find the rhythms you need to support that. So many of the, uh, all the piles in some sense have come through with messages of like really finding the rhythms that support ourselves correctly. Um, and for you, it's about finding a rhythm that's not super time based, but more cyclically based and dimensionally based. And you're really gonna find, um, I think, a, a, the foundational understanding of what this is about and so how to stick to it now and how to like really concretely understand this and implement it um, for you instead of kind of knowing some, you know, that you do work differently, but constantly going back and forth with like, yeah, trying to be like others. I think you're gonna own it this year that you're just not. <laughs> so uh, let's pick a, I'm gonna pick a, just for fun. I feel like this is a pretty clear message, but I just feel like picking a card. Prince of Discs, Reliability. Yeah, um, this card came through for one pile multiple times. It was interesting, and I feel like it applies the way I interpreted it there. I feel like it applies here very well, too. You are... Um, it came out for different areas of life. So this is uh, for you more specifically about personal growth. You are, um, the night is showing that you're growing rapidly this year, really quickly. Um, but you need to pace yourself. You need to um, find a sustainable, like back to the rhythms, like a natural rhythm. You need to make sure that like, as you're growing and the new things that light you up and the new things that, um, you're integrating about yourself, not to put too much on your plate, like you're gonna make fast movement and you're gonna make a lot of progress this year, but you need to do it in a sustainable way and you need to pad your rhythm with downtime where you're um, not too much downtime that you're getting stagnant, but, but not too much on your plate so that you're always exhausted, you know, like you need to just like really focus on creating sustainable rhythms with um, just your sense of self, your personal energy levels. Um, okay, we are gonna keep these top cards out to reference or just have as a remembrance as we go through these other things. So let's look at your, uh, how you need to ground and nourish and nurture this year, what's going on with with your sense of depth and stability. Um, mm, okay. So, um, I love how these areas of life do affect each other. It's not like they're um, compartmentalized completely. Um, the way that you try to be like other people, and it just... <laughs> doesn't work. I don't know why it makes me laugh. I feel like this is my pile maybe. Um, it's created a lot of blocks in terms of how you're able to express yourself. It's really hard for you to communicate what's inside of you out into the world just because you are so different. And this year you're going to find ways to nurture your ability Ability, nurture some ability to bring your internal internal world to the external world to share out into the world um, and it's a really like it's gonna come through I feel like um, yeah with Ace, okay this makes sense what I was thinking with ace of cups here I feel like the, the way for you to do this and, you know, take this or leave it, um, because you could never completely in a logical, grounded way, maybe help people understand what's in you because it's so different. I think uh, the arts, the arts is the way for you to be able to um, nurture this thing about you that really needs to come out, that needs to be seen. You need to, the way to ground yourself and nurture yourself is to find a way to express your inner world. And I 
think it's through the arts that this is going to happen. So it could be, I mean, the arts is a broad thing. Any category you could paint, you could write fictional stories, um, poetry. Um, people don't need to understand your inner realm in a really linear way or a really tangible, practical way. They just need to feel, you need to see people feel inspired by it because that's what you have to give is some sort of just like different vision. And if you can see people feel inspired, even though they don't totally understand um, in a in a concrete way, the way you understand what it is, this is about, um, if they can understand it just through a sense of inspiration, I think that's going to be enough to nurture and to bring your inside out to be seen and accepted. Um, so yeah, I mean, drawing, painting, writing, um, dancing. Um, uh, I don't, I mean, I could go on and on. It, it doesn't have to be even traditional artist things, just like whatever you feel, whatever expression needs to come out of you, you just need to find a way to to do that and to accept that um, the way people are going to understand your inner world isn't completely in a, a linear, logical way, and that's okay. It's gonna be enough for you, I promise. Um, but you, I, I think you're gonna you're gonna figure this out. This Ace of Cups is sort of like this new understanding of expression, of emotion, of sharing your heart. So you will, yeah. You'll figure this out, whatever this is for you, you're going to figure it out this year. But you need to do this to feel nurtured and nourished and grounded in life. You do need to find a way um, to express what's inside of you out in the world. But you're going to feel motivated to do that this year and you're going to figure it out, definitely. And it's going to be really, really uh, nourishing for you. You're going to feel like... This is all about your cup being full. You're going to finally feel like your cup is full, maybe for the first time <laughs> in life in a sustainable way. Um, yeah, this is totally also like um, doing this is going to help you. Like, I feel like these circles are about your rhythms. You're going to find <laughs> all the dimensions of you are finding their their rhythms and how the different dimensional rhythms work together. And um, there's something about you finally expressing to the outer world who you are and what's in you that's going to make all your rhythms come together in a really fluid, beautiful, uh, healthy, vital, um, way and you're going to understand how it's not always about a destination for you it's more about a process and you're going to figure out your processes and it's really gonna it's really going to be fulfilling um I'm really happy for you guys that's what I feel with this this these cards I feel happy for you um <laughs> okay I want to roll um I'm going to roll all three astro dice because I want a little bit more information around uh, possibilities for expression, like how that expression's coming out. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, design, relationships, partners could be really key to helping you find some sort of expression. You may find you're able to express yourself really well through a sense of um, creating balance and harmony, like a graphic design, interior design, um, creating harmonies musically, um, anything that creates sort of like a harmony and design using colors, um, yeah, really play with design this year and play with one-on-one uh, -on -one relationships. That might be also a way you're able to express yourself really well. It's just like finding other souls, 
other souls you can really relate to might come through this year. That could be cool. You're meant to shine. You just haven't figured out um, quite how to do that yet, but that's coming this year. I'm not completely sure what this means uh, other than I think you're going to be in the spotlight in a way that makes sense to you this year and to um, that it's going to feel very nourishing. Um, this is a really kind of like private soulful place though so it's interesting like something you're going to allow your soul to be seen I think because this can also be just like what we allow to be seen and this is about our souls. Um, you're going to, your soul is going to be seen this year. That's what it's saying. You're not necessarily in the spotlight. You could be, but your soul is finally what I was saying. Like you, you're needing to express yourself and um, let that out into the world. And you're going to do that. You're going to be seen. Um, Scorpio here. Uh, this could mean that, um, who uh you're gonna go through a transformation due to doing this something connected to um sexuality could be an artistic expressive form for you uh using research pulling up ancient um information could help you express something. Diving into esoteric wisdoms and knowledge may give you the language you need to express something about you. Yeah, it could be many things. A little mysterious, but your mysteries are gonna come out this year. Uh, you're gonna find a way to relate using finding partners that are similar to you not no, it doesn't have to be romantic just relationships where you're able to relate well or you're going to use design to help you express yourself and your inner self is going to be your soul is finally going to be seen in a way that you approve of and feel good about okay let's move on to relationships I love how these colors go together. Give me just a second on this one. Um, hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I, I don't know why for this. This group, I'm constantly wanting to rearrange the order of all of this. Um, yeah, I think that makes more sense to me. So, um, you're incredibly sensitive. And so you're very affected by the way people respond and react to you. And you're constantly like... It's almost like you calibrate to others in order to find some sort of acceptance. You see how there's like that mirroring, like you're just very sensitive. It's almost like you morph into others in order to, to um, connect, which makes you lose your sense of self and it makes you lose your ability to be seen for you. And I feel like this card is coming through to say, like, yes, honor that. Know that you do it. It's not a bad thing to do. You're um, exploring and honing and fine-tuning your sensitivity. Um, but I think this is a year where you're really going to understand what your energy is versus another's. So to understand um, how to hold boundaries a little better in terms of how you're being seen. 
because you're not going to take on others' energies in ways that are um, not you when it's you that needs to be seen, if that makes sense. I think it's okay. Like, I think that this ability sensationally to really feel others is really beautiful. And I think it's great to um, experience and hone and craft, but um, I think you're really going to understand your personal energy better so that like when you need to be seen for you, you know how to like shed that other energy of others and understand who you are and what your passions are and what you're trying to be seen for and not take on um, uh, energies that aren't, aren't yours inappropriately, I guess you could say. Um, and um, I think you need to also like really trust in your endless sense of love and compassion for others. Um, and to know that there is an endless stream of others that want to be connected to you because you connect when you do this, I don't think you have any uh, awareness that you do this, but when you're connecting to others, you see like this DNA, you see this turtle, there's there's so many things in this, the snakes, the flowers, the, I feel like that's a jaguar maybe back there and doves and flowers and this flow and third eyes and, <laughs> you know, downloads, but I, this DNA too. Um, I feel like when you do this with others and you're not always aware that you're doing it, but um, you recalibrate people. And the more you understand your own energy, the better you'll get at helping to balance and calibrate people and you're very, very healing to be around because of that. You just need to make sure you give yourself regenerative time because you also might take on imbalances from others due to your sensitivity. But you're you're calibrating, you're harmonizing people. And so you need to trust that like, even though a lot of people may not totally understand you, and you have fear of like losing friends or not being liked, that is not a fear to hold because even if someone doesn't get this and uh, they do walk away, there's an endless line. There's an, a line of a f infinity of people that would line up to get your energy. So don't ever be afraid of someone not liking you or of losing people. Um, especially if they're not healthy for you. Like, you need to protect your energy. Um, I just feel like that's a message to be said. Like, don't... Don't relate to others. Don't take on their energy just to be liked. You're going to take on their energy naturally, but don't consciously or purposefully do that in order to be liked. Uh, that actually w would be the only thing that would drive someone away from you. Um, they don't want their own energy back. <laughs> they want to be calibrated by your this multi-dimensional ability to do things you don't even know you're doing. Okay, <laughs> enough time on that card. <laughs> um, Again, I want to switch now after what I've said there. Um, you also, because of your sensitivity to things, to life, to energy, whether you know it or not and whether you're honing it and you're going to learn how to hone this this year, you know how to manifest. You know how to bring things into form. You are an abundant fertile damn creature <laughs> and so um if you have any um I think others can see this whether you feel like you're prosperous or not you have so much abundance around you that it's an attractor for people 
and um, I think to me this is saying that the people you need to open up to and allow to match are other people that are abundant and fertile. That's who you should be relating with. That's who you should be allowing into your life as partners. Um, are other people that can match that can match the amount of abundance and fertility you have? Because this is natural in you. But if you bring in people who are not like that, who have scarcity issues, who have um, tensions you don't like those energies can really mess you up a bit and take away from your ability to manifest in life. So you really need to, to um, develop your closest nurture relationships that with people who are as abundant as you are. Um, and then this, this is the one that was tripping me up for a moment, but like I, I get what this is about now because you're so multidimensional, because you're, um, you live in sort of this very different way of living, um, you are, you are a complete whole person, um, who doesn't really actually need anything from other people. And so this can sometimes, uh, unless you take the initiative, this can end up leaving you a little bit um, isolated in terms of relationships because you're completely, I think you're just, you could live on a desert island and be completely happy alone. Um, but being part of Earth curriculum, it is, you know, we do need to be connected. And um, so just know that like you're the one that's going to have to put initiative into creating relationships in your life um, because you don't, you don't need them. So you don't seek them. You don't have this like drive for them. Um, but you should consciously take some time to develop them, even if it's like not something you're super interested in. But it's also something to be aware of with other people. They may, other people may not put their own um, efforts into building relationships with you because they don't understand what it is you need from them. And so they don't feel needed. So you're the one that needs to make some initiative, some effort to make people feel loved and wanted, even though you don't need them. If you want someone in your life, um, let them know you want them. You, It's okay to say like, yeah, I don't need this person or that person. I don't need you, but I want you, you know, and make them feel wanted. So I think that's what's coming through here. Um, I feel like I want to... I roll the zodiac signs and the planets for this. Ooh. Oh, I, okay. Venus rules Taurus. You got Venus and Taurus. I feel like you need people. Yeah, abundance. Totally. And queen. Uh, you, you need relationships with people who know their value, who know their voice. And I think it's because you're so um, unneedy. You need other people who also like understand their own value so they don't need their their value um, constantly being reinforced by you. They know their voice. They know their value. They're very confident. They're very fertile and able to produce um, themselves, independent, um, interested in just, you know, beauty, life. Um, but they're very already fulfilled and capable of valuing themselves. That's who you need to build relationships with. Other people may not, may struggle with like not always feeling reinforced by your need for them. Um, so you need to find relationships with people who, yeah, like I said, just um, who don't need that reinforcement, but are also like you working on on um, expressing want, even if they don't need, you know, 
So, okay, beautiful. I like that message. Okay, let's look at career before we send you off into the year. Whoops, got tangled in a cord. Okay. I'm actually really interested to see where career goes for you guys because you're so interesting. <laughs> Okay, right away there's some kind of tension, hold on, um, um, yeah, you're torn right now, there's like two directions, you're not sure which direction to go in entering 2022, uh, you know, and sometimes it's okay to take multiple directions, but there's some kind of tension around this that you're not sure how to hold. Um, and I think I'm going to refer back to, I don't remember which category I said this in. Um, I think you need to focus right now entering the year on process and not destination. I think you need to let go of like... Uh, so much concern about where a path is going to land you because I feel like it doesn't matter which direction you choose you're going to end up in the same place it's more about developing the processes that make you happy that support you and all all roads will lead to the same destination um so say you're trying to decide, I will actually use my own instance with this. Like, um, I mean, I'm a little past this, but it was a past tension entering 2021 of like, do I choose the road of um, going to grad school for psychology or for creative writing? I couldn't decide. And I just... Um, kind of use my instinct and my intuition to feel into as I kind of played with that tension in both of those areas of like which one I liked and I realized in the end that they were kind of the same thing to me and I feel like that's what's going on whatever the tension is or the two paths in some way they're the same thing to you and if you can see that you'll see where to go, if that makes any sense. Um, but that being said, yeah, just connect to like the rhythm, what connects to you, what rhythms connect to you in terms of where you're going, position, what you're building authority in. And the more you do that, the more you're going to recognize it's kind of the same thing. And I think like a completely different path. That's what happened to me. Like once I saw that they were kind of the same thing or I was digging at the same thing in both of them, it was like a middle path almost opened up in that. Um, anyway, focus on process. Focus on doing things that you feel connected to in terms of how you build your rhythms, in terms of what you're building in terms of, sorry, I just said in terms of like five times, <laughs> but what you're building to in terms of your authority. Connect to your rhythm and what feels natural and you'll figure that out. I don't, I've been, just been through this, so I have all confidence you'll figure that out. But it is worth really putting effort into this because a totally, totally new path is opening up for you. Um, and the fool has the potential to go anywhere. So it is like, you know, like I do like that this is the first card before the fool. Like you do need to um, find that middle path. <laughs> But opportunity is coming and a completely fresh slate, a, a new um, way of being, a new expertise is feeling fresh and alive and full of possibility and potential. Um, 
Oh, actually this, I feel like I want to put this like right on top of this. This card is about ancestors and it's about synchronicity. Your ancestors are sending messages to you. They're sending synchronicities your way. So look for um, little deja vus, signs of familiarity, um, things that feel right. They're sending those synchronicities to you and that's gonna help you find the path. What feels like deja vu? What feels familiar? That's gonna help you find the path. And that path is a completely fresh new slate that's really exciting it's a new threshold a new just full of potential and opportunity that's really gonna you know enliven you and that's um super exciting um let's pull a couple tarot cards real quick Ooh, these two wanted to come out yeah um you're moving on the transition is coming professionally. Um, you're moving to smoother waters. You're finding your purpose. Uh, you're finding clarity and a new harmony around your purpose. And it's taking you to like a new shore, a new threshold, a new path. And you're really going to find your power there. Um, King of Pentacles, you're going to produce, you're going to be abundant, you're going to be a leader, an authority, you hold the world. You're sitting in a world, you hold a world, you're a multidimensional world authority. <laughs> His jacket is floral, there's abundance there, you're calm, you're centered, beautiful, I love it. Um... Let's see, I want to roll a planet maybe for an idea about this. The sun, creativity, presence, spotlight, performance, leadership, command. Yeah, you're meant to, you're meant to be a leader in something that's coming for you. Okay, last thing before I send you on your way is the inner compass card, a last message about um advice on your direction the magnet beautiful yeah sort of like that let me find that card um very similar to this relationship card you had it's a general energy for you that like what you put out you attract back so you need to be like really conscious and aware this year and i think you're really that's part of this understanding how to break out of time and finally live your natural essence rhythm which is just like n not normal and not linear and it's multi-dimensional um there's this you're really gonna get it this year that the energy you hold is the energy you attract and so finding more ease with being who you are, finding more ease with the magnificence that you are, with the unique um, soul that you are, instead of holding attention around how do I be normal or this or that, like finding an ease of being this insane, mind-blowing thing that you are you're gonna attract such special things back and i think you're really gonna get this lesson this year i think it's possible you've really attracted um a, a lot of tension back to you because you hold a lot of tension about yourself but as you really relax into who you are and find your ways to express yourself in just like a more artistic type of way and see the magic you're capable of and how people would give so much to be what you are. So stop trying to be like others. You're, that magnet energy is going to completely shift and you're really going to magnetize things to you that are as special and brilliant as as um your natural essence energy that you're really getting into this year 
Okay, that is 2022 for you guys. Good luck on all this work. I believe in you. You can do it. You're really going to um, come into your own this year. I just feel it. It's, uh, it's This read felt really, really, really beautiful to me. So um, good luck, everyone, and we'll see you in the new year.